So when we talk about the perfect tone, generally, some might think uh, the perfect amp settings, pedal arrangement, etc. But it really starts with the guitar. Uh, you want to have, obviously, a well set up guitar. I like my action pretty low, and of course, you can have your own setup as you will, but you want to make sure your guitar is properly intonated and then work on the actual tone stuff. So here are my 12 o'clock settings. <laughs> Now I'm going to see what it sounds like with the treble gone. Obviously it sounds a lot more bassy and how about we spike the treble. Now based on that response I can tell this treble is very powerful. So I'm going to remember that as I move through. So I'm going to move the treble back and then I'm going to pull out the mids, see what kind of effect that has. All right, still pretty bassy, even with the treble up. And we're going to pull in the mids. And that sounds just like mids should. So, so far the treble is the setting that is seemingly more impactful. We'll pull out the bass. And we'll push them up. So the bass also, like the mids, seems to do what it's supposed to do. So really, it feels like I'm gonna keep the mids, maybe turned up a little bit to give it that extra meat. This guitar, is a, uh, it's a single cut, so it's already kind of got a bassy feel. So I'm actually gonna back the bass off a little bit to uh, let the guitar compensate for some of the bass. And then the treble, I really like that bite, so I'm gonna push that up. So let's see where we're at here. is my preference when it comes to clean just really nowhere to hide you have to play clean to sound good basically you want to find your perfect tone in the most foundational form so the driest no effects no reverb even just something that you're happy with to paint on top of with either reverb or other pedals that you may use which is where i'm going to move on to next so the first thing i'm going to do here is actually kick on some reverb uh, this amp has a built-in reverb so i'm going to turn that on and see what i'm working with So I am going to push this reverb back a little bit. It looks like I had it at about 10 o'clock. I am going to pull it back around, let's say, 9 o'clock. So that is about as much reverb as I like to have. I don't like it too washy if I'm just going for the perfect tone. You know, it's always fun to experiment with really cool modulation and, uh, you know, delays and reverbs, things like that. But if we're just trying to go for a pure sound, the, the kind of bass, real nice, smooth tone that I consider to be close to perfect, then we're not going to want too much reverb covering up our sound. Again, it's all about keeping it clean and keeping it straight ahead, real fresh and clear. So when I think of perfect tone, I think of nice sustain. Now, this has some nice sustain already. Obviously, it's on a clean tone, so here's what I'm going to do. I have this pedal from Wampler called the Tumnus. It's kind of acting like a boost of sorts. So what I'll do is kick that on, and I have the level set about to unity gain so it doesn't actually increase the volume of the signal and I've got the gain about one o'clock and the really cool element of this pedal that I like the treble so really working on the EQ of this guitar tone being that this guitar is a little bass heavy 
So let's hear what this sounds like. So I would say that is as close to the perfect tone as I care to chase. Uh, just trying to give you some ideas on what can affect tone, whether it is the treble bass mid knobs, obviously the pickup selection. I didn't even really get into the tone pots on your guitar, but those are generally lesser versions of the amp settings, but they can be effective. If you're just hearing a little bit too much harshness, try rolling off the tone knobs on your guitar and you'll generally be having a more round sound, which some people really love. And if you notice that boost pedal really didn't have much extra gain, uh, I kind of have this less is more sentiment when it comes to overdrive pedals. That's what I consider to be the perfect tone. Uh, anybody can crank up the gain and shred, but it takes a lot of feel and nuance to be able to sound good when the gain is down low. But again, what my perfect tone is, isn't necessarily what yours is. So these tips are a great way to find your own tone. They're a pretty common sense, you know, actually sitting down and understanding what knobs do what to your guitar. Uh, but I think it's easy to overlook basic stuff sometimes when we're just trying to be the best guitar players we can be. Uh, keeping things like this that are simple but essential and crucial to tone chasing are things that will make you a better guitar player in the long run. So I hope this was a helpful finding your perfect tone lesson and until next time, keep shredding. Mm -hmm.